we had requested a report to come back so we could um, get the information we needed to make a decision on whether this was a good thing for the town or not. Mm -hmm. uh, the report came back and we've decided we need more information. So now um, uh, Councillor Remick and I are, are tasked with doing some research between now and uh, the September meeting. Uh, thinking about stuff from funding to community partners, uh, even right down to the design of the, of the actual crosswalk and what we want to do with that. Yeah, so with my artist hat on, obviously we want to have um, the design it be impactful in, in an area. And I mean, we, we've looked at the main street and we're not going to say no to that yet, but we are looking at Unity Square down in River Mill Park. Yeah. So um, impactful, it, it, it's, a, it's a square. We could have lots of bright colors. I mean, we'd love to have the pride flag there, obviously, or the LGBTQ flag. Mm -hmm. um, there could be a veterans flag there as well with poppies. There could be a um, the seven feathers, the teachings of the seven of the indigenous people. That could be there as well. So there's, there's lots of options, but it's just the starting point for Councillor Morrison and I to talk to other groups, to find out what their, what their thoughts may be and, and, and to work on the design for that area. Uh, I think public input is crucially important to any decisions we make, especially with something like this that has varying opinions on the subject. Mm. Uh, I think that we've decided as a council that we need more information. And once we have that information, we can bring it to the table. Then we need to engage the public and get their input uh, and then make a decision on what's best for our town.